What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again back with the bang of the day guys on the review of the upcoming Jordan 7 Chambray. Set to release on July 15th for a retail price point of $200. Now, if you guys are recent sneakerheads out there, the Jordan 7 Chambray, this is the second time that this shoe has released. Originally releasing back in 2006, it was a big time for Jordan 7s just out there. You had the Citrus 7s, you had these, and uh, can't think of anything else, but Jordan 7s were popping, okay? Jordan 7s have been popping. It isn't until recently that people can look at a Jordan 7 and say, mm, I'll pass. The sevens at one time were just up there. Three sevens and elevens, they were hitting, bro. They were hitting. I mean, fours and threes have always hit, don't get me wrong. But the sevens at one point was almost like a favorite for a lot of people out there, at least for me. But we see though the Chambray is coming back in full effect. And for the most part, I gotta give props to Jordan Brand for recreating a classic and giving it a classic look and great quality. I mean, the suede that's featured on this shoe, in my opinion, is very, very, very top notch in quality, at least of how it feels and how it looks. I mean, you can actually see the suede here from the different shades that it has with the bouncing off and this, the furry effect going on. A good representation, if you guys have the Travis Scott's, the black suede feature on the Travis Scott's also features very, very similar quality on this Jordan 7. And for it being just the GR, you know, it's, it's, it's I'm, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, I'm liking it, I'm happy for it. So if you like this shoe, you'll love it in hand. The Jordan 7 Chambray also is being produced out of Vietnam. Now, that is a little bit different than what we typically see for shoes from Jordan brand that are all, you know, that a majority of the time being made out of China. China, Vietnam, and Taiwan have been the three leading producers of Jordan brand sneakers for the past couple of years now. But the reason why I even bring that up is because of the quality that we see here. Is Vietnam producing better sneakers now than China? I mean, I don't know, let me know. The Chambray name comes from the Chambray colorway featured on the Jordan 7, which is pretty much what this looks like to be a baby blue with maybe a little bit darker tint in my humble opinion. The graphite is that of that very dark gray colorway featured on the bottom of the mountain peaks that only really get a look right there also on the inside mountain peaks as well as the back tab you have also the jordan 7's iconic tongue aka inside inner booty but the tongues itself if you guys don't know each and every jordan 7 tongue out there it features a different design on every single pair it's based upon the cloth that it's cut from that every single pair of jordan 7 tongues will never match up no matter where go go across the world and go look for your damn self you're not gonna find a matching tongue like this one or like this one and they're both different as well one of the big dislikes from this shoe that a lot of people have stated and i forgot to even mention and didn't realize loose to my chat always make sure y'all chat and let me know when i slip up so i can always correct myself in the following videos but there are no metal lace tips on this jordan 7 chambray and we you know seven lovers out there we love our metal tips no pause take it how you want 2023 no pause bro if you in the gutter like that thinking weird stuff on a metal tip you know i don't know what to tell you man okay but these have the plastic tips and when it comes to sevens the metal tips for the most part on the majority of releases out there or was on the majority of the releases out there so that's something i definitely uh wish they would have added that little spice to it to give that little middle tip action and keep it going but they did however get a great shape on the Jordan 7 especially on the you know wing sides up here the tab the side panels are very nice and high and the tongue is very protruding and po poking out like it's not it's not weak bro it's not flimsy you can see that it's keeping its shape because back in the day man 2012 2013 2014 it was a very bad time for Jordans in my opinion even 15 when they remastered the French blue sevens the paint job was like sloppy toppy and you can keep your mind in the gutter with that it was just sloppers slopper boppers okay all on the mountain peaks paint job was horrible horrific they've definitely cleaned it up since then so salute to Jordan brand for that and the top part I think that like I said the height of the ankle is very good in my opinion the tongue sticking up a little bit very good in my opinion beforehand I felt like the tongue was shorter than this part the shape was just all off but i feel like they've done a great job at getting the shape right when it comes to jordan 7s recently and that's just in tony d's you know 
humble opinion. The Jordan 7s, like I stated before in Vietnam, the UNC is made in China. So that's something else is to take into consideration. But this whole month of July has been UNC, UN, the chambray, even though it's called chambray, bro, it's definitely like a UNC blue. You got the UNC toe, you got the UNC to Chicago. A ton of UNC colorways dropping in this particular month. It's a little wild. Salute to my chat though, once again as well, the comment section. This is the box that is featured on this shoe. And you guys let me know that this was the 92 OG box for sevens. Now I knew this to be the case when it came to the fives and sixes. I did not know that to be the case when it came to the sevens. And forgive me, in 1992, I was only one years old, okay? Forgive me, forgive me. But the box itself, as you can see, typical box that we've seen with the fives and sixes over the years. That's the actual label, eight and a half with a 10, chambray, light graphite. You got also Nike Year there as well. Open the box up, you know, paper. That's what you typically see, right? Paper. And uh, the quality control sticker, if I can get that in there, it's kind of hard, but it's red. Maybe that's a, you know, Vietnam thing, but typically I remember it being more of a gold QC sticker, but I mean, that's just something to take into consideration. As far as how sevens fit, I like to go true to size. They do have a more snugger fit for the fact that it is that inner booty going on in the shoe. It's more of a good lockdown. It's like an inner sock within the shoe itself. I love it. It's a really good, real good lockdown. I would say a seven is still a good basketball shoe to even hoop in. Like, the technology and the craftsmanship is still there. It's definitely an old shoe. It's definitely what a 32 year old sneaker. Is it one of the best or something that you need to grab? No, but it definitely has lived the times and survived the times in my opinion when it comes to basketball sneakers. The suede material on this shoe is exquisite in my opinion. I forgot if I mentioned, I'll mention it again. Very similar to what was featured on the Travis Scott suede, even though that shoe is probably not even in the hands of a thousand people. That was a very hard shoe to get people, you know, to get your hands on. but for it being a GR A1 steak sauce. Check out Soul Play, Soul Play ATL. We'll be having these available and more than likely these will be a first come, first serve pickup for you guys and girls out there. SoulPlayATL.com at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'll leave a link to their website down below but this will be the shoe that is dropping this upcoming Saturday and uh, much, much more. But also you might be questioning, yo Tony, are you gonna cop these or not? Like are these the shoes that you're gonna end up picking up. And honestly, I would love to cop this shoe. I like this shoe. And I'm not trying to sound like a broke boy right now, but I've told you guys how I've been this whole entire year with the decisions I have to make, not even because I'm having a kid, but it's because I have so many shoes already. And this shoe is $200. The foam posit metallic reds are $200. The UNC toes are $180. I mean, that's like $600 right there just for the month of July in sneakers. And bro, I'm a... You can't see it, bro, but look, look, look at this. Look at that, okay? You know what I'm saying? A lot of that is dead stock, you know? A lot of that stuff is dead stock sneakers. So I gotta make a decision at the end of the day whether it's the cop or not. You feel me? Like, do I need to do I need this shoe? Do I actually need it? I like it a lot. And in the back of my head is like, Tony, if you don't get it, you might be waiting another 17 years until this shoe actually retros again. So it's definitely a hard pill to swallow. I wanna know what you guys' thoughts and opinions down below on this one. Let me know about that. Are you gonna cop them? or not. I'm trying to give you guys an honest opinion. It's a great shoe, but um, I'm leaning more towards the past because of the fact I just don't got the room for it. I'm going to end you guys and girls off with an on-foot review. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and I'm out. Peace.